So I've wanted to be a dentist since I was in first grade. It's been something that's just always been on my mind and on my heart. I was in the dental chair uh, tons of times growing up when I was younger. So uh, I got to experience that a lot uh, just personally. But I had a really good uh, friend of the family uh, who was a mentor and uh, a dentist and he really kind of poured into me and encouraged me to pursue that path. And so I did that, uh, pursued that in college and uh, enjoyed every aspect of that, the learning, the, uh, the labs, the clinics. Uh, and when I graduated, I was super excited to get out and open up my own practice. Um, and so that's what I I ended up doing and uh, I feel like dentistry for me has not been uh, just a career but it's been a real calling on my life something that um, I was set out to do from early on I really enjoy working with my hands uh, I love to paint I love to do art I love to work in the yard landscaping uh, I love to do projects around my house with woodworking uh, so I'm always paying attention to detail and so for dentistry uh, attention to detail is extremely important and so I get to take those naturally uh, gifted things that I have in my life and apply them to my everyday work life and so it helps me to uh, get our patients uh, to a beautiful smile and to also keep their mouths healthy for a long time so that I can be meticulous about uh, taking care of uh, their teeth whether it's uh, cleaning whether it's uh, fillings whether it's crowns whether it's veneers uh, implants those types of things uh, it helps me put a lot of attention to detail into my job on an everyday basis so working with people is a gifting. I spend my day getting to do each day what I love by working with so many different people and a variety of procedures and uh, dealing with people. Uh, one of the best parts of my job is hearing people tell our team that they love coming to the dentist. Uh, after years of maybe living in fear. Uh, and so it's very life-giving for me to be able to accomplish that in somebody's life, to help them to relax and then to finally trust someone again uh, to take care of the oral health care needs. Uh, and sometimes all it takes is just listening to their concerns and not rushing people through. Uh, and it seems to me when I see a new patient or sit down with somebody that's been a patient forever, uh, just taking time to get to know them and find out what's been going on in their life uh, just outside of dentistry, uh, but then also just caring about their needs and just listening long enough to find out if there's something that I can help them with. And sometimes that's just li listening to maybe uh, a story that their child, uh, something they're proud of their child, or maybe a loss that they've experienced in their life and they just want to share that and get that off of their heart. And so for me, uh, it's not just doing the dentistry, it's interacting with the people and uh, being able, to, um, being able to, to be a listening ear for them. And I strive to do that on each patient that comes into our practice. One of my favorite things about dentistry is that not only do I get to practice it here in America, but I've had the opportunity to go overseas and utilize my skills in a foreign country. Uh, we, my wife uh, and my kids, uh, Maddie, Lindley, and Bo, and my wife, Heather, uh, have had the opportunity to go to Southeast Asia uh, on several occasions to work with a poor population in the rural uh, areas of Southeast Asia. Uh, we're able to go into small uh, towns, small villages, and we set up open air clinics where we're able to uh, extract teeth on people, people that have been in pain for weeks or months or maybe even years, uh, struggling with a tooth that's been giving them a problem. And we're able to go in, uh, give them immediate relief, take out a tooth, get them back uh, to normal working life uh, so that they can go about their daily duties. And uh, it just is a real blessing to be able to see that. It uh, allows them to be uh, you know, getting back to normal activities. Um, it allows us to be able to serve them in a way that they may not have been able uh, to be served in the past. And uh, we have a local group uh, that we work with that actually remains in uh, Southeast Asia. So once we leave, uh, that local group is able to follow up and make sure that those people aren't having any uh, issues or problems uh, and kind of can communicate with us back here in America if there's ever any concerns or any questions. And it's a cool way that I get to use my gifts not just here, but also overseas. I have a fantastic team that surrounds me each day. I get to work alongside these individuals. They're dedicated, they're caring, and they care for our patients. They're knowledgeable, uh, they're compassionate, they're able to explain and educate to our patients in regard to dental treatment, procedures, insurance. Uh, our patients have nothing but good things to say about my team, and they are amazing. I would not be where I am today without this amazing team backing me every day.